Hi, my name is Asa Kennedy and I want to welcome you to Right and Wrong Thinking. Today we'll be discussing something very important and that is let the weak say I am strong. Well, I strongly believe that confession of God's words in despite your circumstance, despite your situation, is something that every believer should do. Notwithstanding, making a confession from this verse of scripture has a problem because this is not a positive affirmation. This uh, text of scripture was a judgment upon the Gentiles that held Israel in captivity. So it was a summon for judgment. This verse is gotten from Joel chapter 3 verse 10. It says, Beat your plushes into swords and your pony's hook into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Well, for you to plainly understand this, you have to read this in context. So let's read this in context, omitting verse 10. Let's start from verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Make up the mighty men. Let the men of war draw near. Let them come. Assemble yourselves and come all ye hidden and gather yourself together round about Tida. Cause the mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the hidden be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the hidden round about. So this was a judgment. This verse was not talking about the Israel. Neither was it talking about the church. It was talking about the Gentiles that claim to be strong. He said, okay, let the weak say I am strong. It was a mockery statement to them. It was a statement of defeat. It was a sarcastic statement. Uh, the Gentiles that were defeated at war. So it was now a mockery statement to them saying, let the weak say I am strong. It's not like a positive statement where, okay, you are not feeling well in your body and you are saying, okay, let the weak say I am strong. Because I'm not feeling fine, I say I am strong. This is different from the usage of this text. This was a judgment to the Gentiles who put Israel in captivity. So it was now a mockery to them after they've been defeated from war. So don't make this statement in relative to this scripture because it is wrong. It's not a positive affirmation. Meanwhile, it is important that believers make positive confession at all times. In fact, this period, you should always say, I am immune to the coronavirus. Hope this is clear enough.